Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I am here uh, with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This is an Acer Aspire 3. This one comes with an Acer uh, AMD Ryzen 3 processor. And in this video I'm going to show you guys based on the request how to upgrade the RAM and how you or remove the RAM. So let's try to keep this video as short as possible. And I'm going to go through this step by step how you can do that. Number one, you need few tools. Tool number one is to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use always the iFixit tool set. They have the, all the bits that you need to open any type of laptop or cell phones. From this set, we're going to use Philips number zero. And you will need an opening tool. You can get the extension for this package that they come with all the opening tools and pliers that you need. This is the extension tool. I'll leave the link in the description. Or if you don't want to get the expansion board, expansion set, just get the screwdriver set. And for the opening tool, you can just use any guitar pick. I use the metallic guitar pick to open my electronics. So guitar pick and uh, Phillips number zero is required. Anyway, to open it up, you need to flip over the laptop and particularly this one actually the model on this one so you guys keep asking me exact model is aspire 3 model n19c1 that's the exact model but this applies for any aspire 3 series so what you want to do you want to remove the bottom screws there are a total of 10 screws underneath so go ahead and start removing all the screws at the bottom All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. But just go ahead and remove it. And again, I really appreciate if you guys like this video and click that thumbs up button. And if you guys subscribe, it will be a tremendous help and motivation for me to make more videos for you guys and take requests and help you guys out. So I see only a little bit of the, my viewers subscribe, but I'm still pushing out more videos every day so that would be a good help if you guys could subscribe and click like all right now that we remove all the screws at the bottom cover you want to grab yourself the opening tool with the opening tool on your hand you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover of this laptop just somewhere over there and about two or three millimeters inward you don't need to stick the whole thing inside just like that and then you just want to twist it around go in this motion go all around to the right and go to the all the way to the back make sure you hear those clicks that the clips are getting loose once you got the front and the sides open you can either lift it up or you start uh, loosening up the back end too And then you want to put it down and just lift up the bottom cover. And that's how you remove the bottom cover. Now down here, the RAM is visible right here. And you can see it has the two slot RAM dim available. Man, now I know what you guys are going to say, remove the battery. You do not need to remove the battery to update, upgrade the RAM or place a solid state drive. I made another video how to upgrade the hard drive to a solid state drive to make it much, much faster. So check my videos for the upgrading the solid state drive. But in here we're going to focus on the RAM. So you don't need to remove the power jack for the battery. In case if you want to be paranoid and you want to remove it, just by pull these cables backward and the jack will get loosened right there. All right. To remove the RAM, there's only two ways you can. One way you can remove it by pulling these two triggers apart. So pull these two triggers apart. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. You see this 45 degree angle? It will just come out in front. And then you want to pull it out in the same direction that it came out. All right? These are the DDR4 RAM. So this is a 4 gig DDR4. Let's say if you have another 4 gig or 8 gig or two 16 gigs, uh, you can just grab it. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. 
is a notch right there. If you try putting it the other way around, it will not match and it will not go through. So it doesn't matter if the RAM memories are on top or on the bottom. This has nothing to do. So top bottom has nothing to do absolutely. So grab your RAM dim in 45 degree angle, push it down in to the jack in 45 degree angle, and then just push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna hear these two clicks right there. Again, with the other RAM is the same thing. Pull out, push it in 45 and towards the motherboard, just like that, okay? The orientation, the RAM chip has nothing to do with the, how it's gonna work, as long as the notch matches. Uh, this is for demonstration. I'm not actually upgrading any RAM here, so but you guys got the idea how to remove, how to put it on. You can put 8 and 8 gigs, or you can put 16 and 16 gig, whatever combination you want. You will get the dual channel effect, which is much faster than having only one 16 or one 8. So I rather have two fours to make it up to eight. That will be a dual channel, or have two 16 to make it to. Yeah, 32. All right, I'll leave the link in the description for a few RAMs. And once you have the RAM in, you just want to grab the top cover. You want to bring it over. And what you want to do, you want to push down the corners. Make sure you hit those clicks. All right. And the last thing would be down here to grab the bottom screws and start screwing the and the cover back down so doesn't matter where you start from just start from one corner and just go all around and the last one is right in the middle again rem remember if you disconnected the battery plug back down the battery uh, one more tip if you guys upgrade your ram and if it if you turn it on if it doesn't boot up or it doesn't give you any screen Turn it back off, remove one of the RAM dims or uh, switch the places and boot it up again. Sometimes some BIOSes versions don't detect it right away, so don't panic. Just switch the places, change them around, and then tr try it again. And that's a very common issue with uh, most of the laptop. All right, uh, we are done here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.